We're with graduate student Leif Ristrup at Cornell University, and what we're about to see is a spectacular liftoff. Whoa, wait a minute, what's this? This is one flight. But I thought we were going to see something a little more dramatic. Doesn't your work involve comparing flight strategies? Yes, of insects in flight. And you use videography, shooting footage of... Actual flyers, like fruit flies. If you see the, the videos of these guys flying, you'll realize that it's an engineering feat beyond what we've certainly accomplished. They're in complete control of what's going on. They can induce maneuvers by subtle changes in the wings, and it's pretty amazing what goes on. But not all fruit flies fly in the same way. So by comparing the flight of different species of fruit flies, you may be able to learn more about how flapping flight in insects evolved? Yes. So if we are ever to make an efficient flapping flying machine, or say a tiny flying robot that can be used for exploring Mars, the answer might be in the flies. Yes, exactly. Now this fruit fly is obviously magnified and its wing beat slow down. In real time, its normal wing beat is about 250 times per second. So it's a blur to the eye. The video brings it out and you get to see all the details. It's very crisp. I understand you film at 8,000 frames per second. What does this help you see? I can then see about 40 pictures of the fly's wings per wing stroke. Wow! Excuse me, but I think the fruit flies are rapping. The sense organ our rappers are referring to is the haltier. It helps them recover quickly when knocked off course. To the eye very quickly and the video, what it shows is that it's also very quickly. It's within a few wing beats. They're able to correct their flight. Well, sadly, our time is up. Thanks, Life. Any final words from our friends, the fruit flies? Peace, peeps.